Yeah, absolutely. And I've read a couple of your blogs, which were really interesting, about mm. transitioning from mm. a software developer into a technical leader and uh, the challenges mm. that you experienced. Yep. What, what were those challenges and, and how did you overcome them? Well, I think my biggest challenge, well, my first challenge was sort of just not knowing what to do <laughs> in general, like, because you can sort of observe other managers, you can, because um, at Tamanda we didn't really have a leadership program where they tell you, okay, this is how you're expected to act, this is how you're meant to manage, it's more just we had other managers that already knew what they knew and you sort of just follow their pattern. Um, but I felt like for my own sort of experience and for my own journey, I, I felt like, okay, if I had a roadmap, I could have probably avoided some mistakes. And as I sort of got into management roles, I have a lot more developers that I work with, you know, ask me, hey, how do I go down this track and what advice do you, would you give me? So that's why I sort of started blogging about the topic. Because I think for developers, we are generally just so focused on the craft of writing, building software that we don't really think about too much else. And to, although these days I would say it's, it's getting a lot better because everyone knows, you know, these are the possible career tracks yeah. you could have and you need to consider these things and you need to consider team dynamics and all this stuff. So there's definitely a lot more knowledge around. So for me, it's just about contributing um, my experience and my perspective, I guess, to, to the body of work that exists. So you'd have liked a roadmap, but a fairly mm. loose one as a guideline rather than something that's really rigid. And yeah, absolutely. Because I think, well, it depends on the company. Because yes. <laughs> one thing I learned is that, you know, as we hire managers from other companies, a manager that I really respected, he came from Suncorp and they appear to have, or from his description, appear to have a very, uh, how do you say it, well-defined um, training process for their managers and leaders. So they knew what they had to do, they knew what their responsibilities were. Um, and I think that can work for some companies um, and it can work for some personalities, but for others it's just like they do what they want to do and then they see how it works, they see how people respond. Because what I like to say is not all managers will give you the same results mm -hmm. every time. Sometimes personality type A with company type B will just never work out. No. But you either put them into a different company and they'll just magic will happen. So it's really up to you to sort of stay true to yourself. Um, well, if that's the way you want to be, because a benefit of teaching is that I got to talk to a lot of different lecturers and yes. one of my colleagues was a sort of a management lecturer and then so I got exposed to you know there's in management especially in management school they try to turn it into a science so you have like your authentic leaders which is popular now you have your charismatic leader you have your transformative leader etc and then so there's all these different categories that you can either be put in or you can sort of try and make yourself be so for me I'm more of an authentic type person kind of yeah really. so I, I find it really hard to um, sort of transition from one to the other so I can only be one mode because I'm really not a professional manager because um, a saying I like is you know if you can't adapt then you're just a hobbyist you're not a professional <laughs> right Absolutely. so for me a professional manager that's more useful for them to know and if that's the track you want to be on then you obviously have to no matter which company you're in you have to decide what type of leadership style, what type of management style will get you the right results. But for me, I like to, as you said, it's more organic for me. So for me, if I find that, you know, I can contribute to the business or I can contribute to the team um, in a way that's beyond the initial scope of my role, I'll be happy to do that. And that's sort of how I evolve into a more management responsibility type of role. And I think that even...